We're going live. Live from the Earthsprug Gymnasium. You won't get this anywhere else unless you're watching the official BW webcast. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to have some fun today. It's featuring the Brown and Gold Brigade. That's right, the oldest and greatest university in America. Taking on the Capital Comets. Now, Capital beat us pretty bad earlier this season by a final score of 94-63. And it's been a real uphill struggle for us this season. Rough sliding to say the least for the Brown and Gold Brigade who find themselves 2-9 on the OIC season and 5-13 in the regular season. 20 minutes to go till it's tip off time. Hopefully we'll pick up the win, but I'm honestly a little nervous about this game. Meanwhile, out in uh, Bexley, where Capital University is located, the Comets are hosting the good guys in a game of women's basketball. We are looking to pick up what would be yet another dandy win for us over the Capital Comets were 11 and 0 in women's basketball. This is, of course, men's basketball. We will update you with the women's game as much as we possibly can. But still, we should have some fun nonetheless tonight. The oldest and greatest university in America hasn't been that great this season in uh, women or men's basketball. Women's basketball, we've been fantastic. Men's basketball, not so much. But we can change it with a little win out here tonight. How nice would that be, folks? We're taking on Capital. Hopefully, there will be a win as you see the team practice out there getting all set up for tonight. Everybody having fun. But will the fun last throughout the next 40 minutes in basketball? Good afternoon, Tommy Maroon for WHBW. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. I see nobody's watching right now. That's good. <laughs> now we've mentioned it. It's been a little bit rough for us this season, but we can change it with a little win out here. Noah's going to get us the starting lineups. You see him to the right of us. But anyways, we're trying to pick up a win. Well, it would be a nice little win out here. But what would happen is the question. Tell you just five wins, 13 losses, two wins, nine losses in the OAC. That's not the best thing in the world. As we have the Capital Comets lineup. Let's look at their lineup, shall we? It consists of Alex Ian, uh, Carter Combs, Tom Magarly, McCain, uh, Finkenbein and, and Baden Fora. For us, it's the same starting five as you might expect, except with a little bit of a twist. Jared not playing today, he's out. Braden, of course, been sidelined for a while now. Let's hope Braden gets back to the floor soon. He's really good at what he does. But anyways, going back to that. It's Landon Potopsky, Titus Baskerville the fourth, AJ Pistel, Ray Uncton, and here's a man making his first career start, no, second career start as a Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jacket. That's right, I'm referring to Andrew Griffith, the man who wears number 21 for the Brown and Gold Brigade. He is right there. He's getting some action right there in the starting lineup for us, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure the six foot seven freshman has been looking forward to this for a while. His first home start, to my knowledge, the second of the season as Rob tries to throw one down. Andrew, of course, from Mark Bishop Hoban High School. Next home men's basketball game, you see it right there. Top right corner of your screen, February 7th against the Ohio Northern University Polar Bears. Which means that uh, February 7th we'll be taking on the Polar Bears of Women's Basketball down in Ohio. 
Ooh, man, oh, man, that won't be easy. And you know what also won't be easy? The women's basketball game against the Husky Capital Comets. That is today. We're trying to go to 12 and 0 in OIC play. We took care of them handily here at Ersprung, but this might be a different story. Hopefully, it's not a different story. Hopefully, we take care of them handily. Hopefully, we take care of the Comets handily here as well. AJ throws one down. This team loves having fun out here. Very good at what they do, but. Really, it's been a one-man band, I guess, when it comes to scoring in Ray Ellington. Ray, a sophomore. Where is Ray, you might be wondering. Why oh, he's uh, right there. He's hiding behind Miles. Ray with 20.2 points per game. Oh, ye gods. 7.6 rebounds per game. That also leads the Yellow Jackets. There's Ray once again. Ray has had himself a dandy, not too shabby for the sophomore from Westlake, Ohio. He has been really good at what he does, but I'm pretty sure you all know about him. 16 total assists, leading us in assists with 61 is Titus, Titus behind. Ray, there's Titus for you, the freshman, the left-handed freshman from Stowe. He, AJ, and Nick are all freshmen from Stowe, so there is that. There Titus go, there's Ray. Titus is right there, there he is. He's gonna run up and play one up and in, much to the applause of the crowd. And by crowd, I mean the players. Cause ain't nobody here tonight. I don't know where everybody is. I know we have about, what, well, the 14 minutes to go, but still, dear Lord, we need a good crowd out here for tonight. I don't care what your thoughts are on the team. Still got to show up and support your fellow players. At least that's always been my philosophy. Show up and be nice to them. They try their best. They're not out there thinking how we're going to lose today. They're out there thinking how we're going to pull off an upset today. And hopefully there will be an upset of Bruin tonight. Ooh, good dunk there by Rob Watson, the third. He's a senior. E. Leon Levski, Luke Driscoll are the only seniors on this team. Four sophomores, and Miles Landon, Braden, and uh, Ray. One junior, and Jared. And everybody else, freshmen. Was talking with Coach Soy the other day of the Island Hornets. He's the Varsity assistant coach, you know him by now. He's Landon Soy's grandfather, not Landon Potopsky's grandfather. <laughs> but still, a nice stunt there by Ray. But still, he said there's a huge differential between your freshmen and seniors on the collegiate level. And it comes to the endurance, it comes to the workout level. So as rough as it's been for us this season, I think the one word that we need to know is a word that starts with RP. Nice catch there. It's patience. This team needs a lot of patience out here because we will be good in the future. As long as if all the freshmen stay or the vast majority of the freshmen stay, you know that all the freshmen aren't going to stay lost. They decide to. <laughs> Still need to give them a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to say the least. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but it comes and it will eventually be here. We're averaging 71.4 points per game and giving up 80.2, yikes. Meanwhile, Capital is scoring 75.7 points per game. Uh, they are giving up 73.7 points per game. So looking at it, we've been outscored 1,443 to 1,286 this season. 
For Capital, they've outscored their opponents 1,363 to 1,326. They're usually a good first half team, 673 to 599. And then they drown a little bit in the second half, whereas we just drown all game long. Especially in the second half. But things can change, folks. Capital is 11 and 7, pardon me for not mentioning their, what do you call it? Not mentioning their record. Capital is 11 and 7 on this season. They have 5 and 6 in the Ohio Athletic Conference. They've only won one road game in the OAC this season. Hey, don't be shy. You can say hi to everybody. <laughs> Their only road win in the OAC, who did it come to? It came to Wilmington, 84-75. And looking at stuff right here. When they went to Case, they beat Case, or they lost to Case, I beg your pardon. 94-87, which is not that shabby considering the fact that Case is the number two team in the country for heaven's sake. When they played John Carroll, they lost by 20 to John Carroll at their house. It has been rough sliding for us. For Capital, it's been all right. Damon Goodwin, the head coach of the Capital Comets. He is the head coach, of course, in his 29th season. Not as long as coach here, of course, but still. Anthony Golson, Nick Diles, and Dan Oki are his assistant coaches. You know the good guys by now, but in case you need a refresher, it's Tom Heil, the head coach, Brian Schmidt, the associate head coach. Tom Harrington, Jamil Cosby, and Wilson Coley are the, uh, what do you call it, assistant coaches. Student assistants are Nate Hart, Athena Silvestos, and Eric Wilson. Kevin Wilker, too. How could we possibly forget Kevin? He's our team photographer. I think he's out in Bexley right now taking pictures and filming stuff for the women's team. Ooh, nice shot right there. <laughs> Everybody's looking forward to this one. Maybe that's Coach Tom's son. That's playing around with the ball. Eight minutes to go till it's rock and roll time here in Korea. As I've been saying a lot, it's been rough swatting for us. Things haven't been that fun for the Brown and Gold Brigade. As we have been struggling immensely. Five and 13, two and nine in the OAC. Both of our home or both of our wins have come at home in Ohio Athletic Conference play. In fact, we have only one road win and one neutral win, but that will be our only neutral game this season. How will things fare for us? We shall see. Hopefully it will be a win, but considering how things are going, I don't know. Honestly, have no clue. If we win, that'd be very nice. If we lose, it'd just be rather frustrating. As I've been saying, and unfortunately, the season seems to be a lost cause for us. As things have been very rough. No student section tonight, not a large crowd. In fact, it feels like Capital is invading the crowd tonight. I see a lot of purple out here. The band cheers on Coach Al's son. He's going to make another. <laughs> How about that? He's doing good. Maybe he'll pop a three. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it for or whatnot, but still. 
Is it worth trying? I guess it's worth trying. I have about 5.39 to go to it's so time to get another shot. And it's another. Well, the good guys are trying to pick up the one out here. I think he's left-handed too, how about that? This shot won't go in. He's gonna try a heave, ooh. I tell you, he's doing much better than what I'd be doing. That's for sure. Heads up, Dave. He always says that at the beginning of the game. He's a good man. He also does public address announcements for the Cleveland Charge out of Wolfstein at Cleveland State. Still waiting on our team. Capital getting stuff up and running. We'll be coming out of that, and you stay the good guys right on cue. All right. Will we win the game is the question. I don't know. Hopefully we do. Been rough for us so far. How nice would it be if we pick up a win? Hey, Josh. Oh, not so much. Josh on the radio. WBWC is covering the game tonight, which is why we are here on the floor in the corner. Hopefully we can pick up a win out here. A nice effort there by Robbie was able to reach the rim. Well, we have about two and a half minutes to go till it's time to get the show on the road. Hard to believe that's almost game time, folks. Both teams are trying to pick up a must win. For us, it's a must win to stop the bleeding. When oh, I say bleeding, I mean three game losing streak and dropping. Seven of the last day. And A of the last time. Things have been very rough for the good guys this year. Oh boy, that gets everybody out there. Not on their feet. Jared and Braden right there. They're not playing tonight. They're both still banged up. Braden right there, the Brunswick grad. Jared right there, the Valeria Catholic grad. Everybody shuffling their feet out there. Get high fives, get all set up for tonight. Yes, sir, we're gonna play some men's basketball tonight. And hopefully this time it'll be away. Has that been hard to come by for Coach Powell this season? But he's still doing a dandy so far during his time here. He's in his ninth season, he has won the OAC tournament back in 2019, taking us to the tournament, NCAA tournament, which is always a good sight to see. Will we be able to do it and beat the 
Tom and Sudo. What I do know is that it's almost, and I repeat, almost game time. Send it down to Dave Cameron, the public address announcers, guys. All set up. to get this party up and running. Ben Forbes, 6'7". He's a freshman from Lexington High School in Mansfield, Ohio. He's going to tip off against AJ. Capital just playing around with basketball. That's behind the back pass up from Carter Combs. Combs is a redshirt junior. They have a few red shirts out here. Including John Michael Sennis. But here we go, AJ didn't tip off for us. Here we go, yo, Jack and Scott was hoping to tip off tip. And won by the good guys. Great to have the board. Time wins your play by play. 
Pass it out to AJ. Now Landon didn't take the three. He goes right, passes it to Andrew. Andrew right side. It's Titus trying to drive in. Titus with a high pass. Good catch there. Landon stepped out of bounds. He would have made it too. Thirteen as Carter comes, he inbounds it. Now twenty-four, McKenzie or McCain Finkerbein, excuse me, McCain Finkerbein all game. Finkenbein. Finkenbein bounces out left side. Gonna try to drive in there as outside. And the tough two-pointer is good. Don McElroy scored it. Here's Titus with the ball. Titus going right. Titus walking to the right side again, Ray, and now that looks to be Andrew. He's going to take a three, and he got it. Not too shabby for a 6'7 freshman. You don't expect them to make threes, but Andrew says, I'll make one. Out in the corner, looking right here, number 13, I believe his card comes. No 24, that is Finkenbein. Passing that back out to four up, four up left side to 13, Carter Combs. Comes in trouble to the left side they go. Number three outside. And trying to go in. There's three on the shot clock. The deep three is up and the deep three is good. Carter Combs drills it. We find ourselves down again. Ray with the ball. Ray spinning. Good spin there by AJ. Passing that to Titus. Titus out to his high school teammate AJ. AJ Pistello got it. We're tied at five. Finkenbein passes it to Carter Combs. Combs deep to the right side, and here's a three from Finkenbein. Eight five. This might be a high scoring affair, folks. Ray Ellington walking. Ray going off. Good screen. Andrew off the wide open for three. He missed. That's out on us. Oh, that's Comet Ball. 2.13 through the first half. Carter comes with a three today. Comes dishing it out to the right side. Passing it again right there. There's four up, four up out in the corner. That's Carter Combs, Combs going in and now left him wide alone, but fortunately I ain't not taking the three, he's gonna lob that right side. And the tough two coming up is good by Baden four up. We're down 10-5 already. Titus looking, Titus passes that to Andrew, or no, AJ, I beg your pardon, going in right here. Looking is right, passing that to Landon, not taking the corner three, Landon. And that's a bad pass. That's only a points the other way, isn't it? Oh, nice slot out right there by Andrew. Waiting the Comet Ball. 258 through the first half. It is 10-5 Capital. McCain Finkenbein inbounding. Who does McCain look for? He looks for number three eyeing. And the three coming off is no good. Rebound, here come the good guys. It's Landon Potopsky with it. Landon with a nice pass to AJ for two. It's good. Looks like we'll have Luke Driscoll and Miles Reynolds checking in for us on the next dead ball. It's shot down, but it's rejected. And it's out on us. Three minutes, 27 seconds through the contest. Miles and Luke, Luke from Carmel, California, which is quite a hike from here. Luke is senior too, his parents are gonna have to be flying in for senior night, literally flying in. Right side, it's Finkenbein. And driving in the tough two-pointer is good by Baden Fora. On the right side, it's Luke passing that back. AJ gonna try to go in. AJ forgot something important, and Capitals gonna take it from him. Mainly number 23, or 13, Carter Combs. Combs passes it left side. Here's a lob. Driving in the spin move, the tough two is good. It's 
14-7. Braden Forup scored it. And here we go again. Andrew with the ball. Andrew has it tipped, intercepted by 13. Carter Combs comes left side. That's going to be good. And Coach Allen not taking a timeout yet. We might need one. We're down 16-7 to Capital. We lost 94-63 to them out in Bexley. AJ has it. AJ right side. Miles trying to drive in. Miles out to Luke. The two-pointer is good. 16 and 10 on. Looks like we'll have Leon Levski in on the next dead ball. Good to see Leon back in. Driving in, the two pointers up and the two pointers go. Nuggerly scored, I believe. Look, passes it back. Here we go, right side. Good screen by Andrews. Miles is going to try to do it himself. And Miles is fouled. And Miles is slow to get up. Oh no, here we go again. Not Miles. Miles, such a key piece in this team. Going around, he gets back up. That's a good sight to see. Not a shooting foul, unfortunately. We out and raw back in for us. Miles has to do something passing down the corner. Walking right here, that's Ray Ellington. Ray hands it off to Miles. Miles, we got something important. But he still has it. Miles on a tough two. No good, no foul, no bucket. Now Capital can blow this thing wide open if they haven't already. Kyle Kenny out to 22 at Nate Gerber. And now that's 42, Justin Nixon. Nixon passes it back. That's Carter Combs. Combs, a junior, to the left side. That's 24, Finkenbein. And McCain, Finkenbein may have done some traveling. Five minutes and 44 seconds through the half and ball game. It's been rough for us. Nine to 18. Here's Rob, but it's taken away by Justin Nixon. Now Combs has it. Going to the right out here. It's tipped around. Luke is on it. Luke is going to go right side. Luke's going to try to do it himself. He does not get it. Nixon lobs it left side. Here they go. Not taking the three that it was thinking by. Kenny passes that to Combs. Combs looking. Combs steps back. And it's taken away. Good job there by Luke. Luke on the left side. Gives it off to Miles. He's going to take a three. He got it. Second period of all game for the good guys. Kyle Kenny, a freshman in an 18-12 ball game, passing the left side. You see Coach Schmidt trying to bark out something. It's 42. Justin Nixon gives off. Almost taken away there. A 13 Carter comes, has it. Comes on the left side. Gonna pass that to 22, Nate Gerber. And looking right here, passing it back. Six out of the shot clock, out in the corner. Three on the shot clock, two on the shot clock, one on the shot clock, got it off. No, did not get it off. Substitution time, Dion Miller in for Capital. Nick Timberlake in for us. Luke running right, Luke. Looking past it to Nick, he's a sharp shooter, that's for sure. He leaves us in three-point percentage. Miles passes that to Rob, he's going in. Rob for two, it's good. A nice little five-nothing run out here, but still down by four. Passing that on the right side to number zero, Kyle Kenny. Kenny right side to number three, Alex Eink. Eink to the left side. And here they go, looking right here is number 12, Deion Miller. Almost poked out, 22, Nate Gerber passing it in. 
Still driving in the teardrop. Good by Justin Nixon. Eight minutes through the first half. Here we go on the right side, passing it. Handing off to Miles with 1-3 today. Nick out to Leon. Leon thought about the shot. He's going in instead. Tries a tough shot. No good, no foul, no bucket. Kenny going in. Cal Kenny may have done some charging. No, he didn't block. First foul of the day for us. Kyle Kenny going to the line is a perfect two for two and now two for three at the free throw line. The season at least. Number 20 is Don Magerly. Magerly with his team up six trying to hope that Kenny gets this one and unfortunately he does. Miles goes across the court, almost lost it there. Miles looking, Miles to the right side. And there is Miles again for three. He got it. Miles with his second three tonight. Nothing new for the sophomore from St. Ed's. Number 12 is Deion Miller. Miller passes that right side, looking right here. Not doing anything, Magerly passes that to Deion Miller for two, no good. Rebound by Rob, passing that right side. Here we go, going in, here's a tough two-pointer, it is good by Lucrisco. And Capital brings a timeout with 10.51 to go. So that's five timeouts for each school, but that was six. Oh well. The 30-second timeout nonetheless. Comet's still leading, unfortunately. By a score of 21-19. Which we saw a very well scoring boys basketball game last night when we played Cuyahoga Falls. Winning that one 42 to 36. You know, five timeouts I thought was six, but oh well. Time to inbound it for Capital. Mercer cleaning off something right there. There's a two point contest. We're still cleaning stuff up. Looks like we have our same five in. Almost halfway through the half. Luke gonna pick up number 24, McCain Finkenbein. Finkenbein on the right side now. Finkenbein passes that off. That's number three out of Ying. Ying passes it back to number 20, Don Magdalene, I believe. And now going in, going to bounce that right side, driving in. There's a pass that gets tipped, but they still have it. Seven on shot clock. Good pump fake by Kirk Combs, who falls down. And now here comes Miles. Miles playing for the tie. He's fouled. Almost halfway through the half, folks. Ian commits a foul as Miles will go to the charity strike for the first time today for us. Miles automatic, he is 24 for 27 from the free throw line. Now I jinxed it, of course I jinxed it. 24 for 28 from the free throw line. It's also 15 for 43 from three point land. He redeems himself with a second shot. They will check in. Here comes Capital in a one point ball game. They're ahead. Eyeing to the right side. That's 24 Finkenbein. 
And now McElroy in trouble. He swings it out left side to number 13, Carter Combs. Combs passes it left side, driving in, stopping right there. Zion Kain passes that back. Here they go, right side, looking. That's a tough two. He's fouled. We are more than halfway through the first half. Leon commits a foul. I'll tell you one thing. Both schools have done very well at not fouling. That's to say the least. First shot goes in. Andrew checking in. AJ checking in. I haven't mentioned Andrew or AJ that much so far today. I mean, Andrew didn't make a three. Andrew's four for six from three-point land this season, at least to my knowledge, maybe four for seven. 23 to 20. Handing it off, that is Ray Allington. Ray going in, Ray is gonna be fouled. Like that was number three outs, I Inc. I Inc. with two fouls today. Nick Gerber, I think he's the only senior for the Comets. He's from Wayne Trace High School in Laddie, Ohio. Here we go, trying to maybe tie it, stepping back, going in. Looks like he's going to play for the one-point game. Ray Ellington going to try to do it himself. Too much mustard. AJ tried to get the board, but he could not. On the right side, passing it back. Pump faking right there, number 22, Gerber. Gerber out to number 20, Megaly. 13 is Carter Combs. Combs looking, Combs passes that out to 22. Gerber, Gerber is fouled by Andrew. 9-14 left in this first half. We're seeing a lot of people here today. Mr. Thompson, the athletic director, President Bob Helmer, here in the building for sure. Both are great men. They've done a dandy here at Baldwin Wallace. Been here for a while now, especially President Bob Helmer. He's a good guy. Left side underneath the bucket, good shot, but it doesn't go in. Andrew on the rebound, passing to Luke, gunning it out. Ooh, nice save as here we go. Nick Timberley trying to tie it, and he will not tie it. Rear miss from him this season. He's our best three-point shooter. High pass, number 22, Nate Gerber turns around. He does not get it, but he goes right back to Capitol, foul the bucket. 8.42 to go here in the half. Luke commits the foul. Tyus will be checking in. Leon will be checking in. For Luke and... Actually, Leon's not checking in. I lied, I apologize. Nate Gerber gets it. Gerber has played in the all games for Capital, but has not started a single one. He'll probably change come senior night. Here's Andrew Griffith for three, and he missed. Here they go the other way. Finkenbine to the left side, driving in. Here's a tough two. He's fouled. Don Megerly. Going to the line out here. Was Megaroy done this season? Yikes, he's 17 for 24 at the free throw line. Now Leon's going to check in. And Landon also going to check in. Number zero, Kyle Kenny also going to check in. Full we'll check in for Capital. First shot, no good. We got the second, we're down by a touchdown point after time. 42, Justin Nixon also checking.
Titus gets the ball from Leon. Leon on the left side. Leon going to spin. He's looking towards the left. He passes it towards the right side now. And AJ passes that. No, there's AJ. And now it's Ray Ellington in trouble. Ray running right, steps back. He takes it through. Ray Ellington misses. Good rebound, however, by the good guys. We'll see what we can do here. Is Landon Potopsky on it. Landon stepping back, passing it to Ray. Not taking the three. Is it a tough two? It is no good. Leon got it. Actually, he's fouled. And Leon goes to walk. Leon Levski goes to the line with 7.48 to go in the first half. We're now in the football score, 27 to 20. The left-hander misses. Leon only two for six now at the free throw line this season. Now he's two for seven. That is rough. Running right. And the zero is Kyle Kenny. Kenny going to pass that back. Number 24, Finkenbein. There's a lob underneath the bucket. Tough two is rejected by AJ. Passing that to the right side. Here we go. Driving in. Looking. There's a foul. No bucket going to be awarded. So there won't be any free throws. Came thinking by committing the foul. Ray inbounds it to Leon on the left side. Leon passes that to Ray. Ray looking. Ray going in. Ray in trouble. There's Leon Lewski. Oh, I don't want for three, and it's no good. He tries to hustle for it. He got it back. He's fouled. No try it again. Uh, at the convenience store, time left, 7 11. One more foul will be in the bonus. Leon missed his first two today. He's from Berea Mid Park, which isn't that far from here. And now he's 0 for 3 at the line. Finally, he gets a free throw. Kyle Caddy. Kenny passes that back out to 24. McKenzie, uh, McCain thinking about whether he keeps on McKenzie. I don't know. Looks like McKenzie for some odd reason. High lob. That's out on Capital. Just an extra point for Alex. 32 is baited four up. Looks like they're going to have number 20. Don Megger will also check in. We'll update you on the women's game at the half. 27-21. Ray going left. Ray steps back. Ray going right. Ray driving in. Ray for two. It is no good. Rebound by Baden. Four up here is a pass to the left side. Here they go, it's tipped around, intercepted. Stolen by Titus, right side, here comes a three on the way. It's good by Ray Ellington. Three point game now. As McCain Finkenbein running right, there we go, I said correctly. Our sideline chain defense as Finkenbein does not get it to go. That will be capital ball, 6.07 to go. Shot clock at 20. Pass, he hits a 32, bait and four up. Four up gives it off, and here's a three on the way. It's an air ball. Our ball. Bob Watson checking in with 6.01 to go with the first half.
Driving in here is Tyson. Now Land is going to take the game time three. It is no good. Comes on the rebound, so Capitals still winning. Comes driving in, he's going to pass that underneath the bucket. The two pointer is good overall. Deion Miller scored it. He's right there towards the center of the screen as Tice has it. Tice is spinning. Tice out to Rob. Rob forgot something important, and Baden Forbes is going to take it. Almost forgot something important as well. Here's Deion Miller for two. Three ejected. My goodness. Bob Watson the third, how about that? Titus, passing it right side, here we go. Three from Ray is off target. Tipped and a good effort to save it before it can be backcourted. Five minutes to go here in the first half, Titus has it. Titus with nine on the shot clock. Titus going in, Titus for two, the left kind of layup is good. Deion Miller has it. Miller as the pass goes towards the left side. Number zero, Kyle Kenny. Kenny. Kenny looking right side. In trouble right here. Passing it out. 20 is Megarly. Megarly passing it. Spinning six on shot clock. He's fouled. And he'll go to the line. He was that he might be wondering. It's Baden four up going to the line. We're up shooting 55.6% for the free throw line, but he has 13.1 points per game. Now it's all the comments. Actually, it's A.J. Knox. Andrew, I stand corrected. Second shot covered up is good. 31-26. One more foul by either school, and either school will, and the other school will be in the bonus. Titus passes it to Miles. Miles steps back, passes it to Titus. Titus running left. Titus in trouble. Titus is going to try to drive in. Titus. Gonna hand it off to AJ, not taking the three. He's gonna give it off. Ray Ellington, Ray with a high pass out. Here comes a three ball from Milovsky, and he missed. We are struggling immensely at the free throw or three point line today, and free throw line too. Luke Coolman. He has the ball. He passes it around towards the left side. Stepping back here as Carter comes, and now a three coming up, that'll be good. 34-26. Hopes to be another rough game for us. Ray's gonna take a deep shot, and he got it, my goodness. Timeout, Coach Howe. One and two left in the first half. Left hand point out there. Twenty-four, twenty-nine. You know it only be a matter of time till Ray Ellington got something cooking. Comet Ball. As you can tell, Deion Miller with 319 left in the first half. Miller passes it left side. Okay, and now they have five timeouts for each, so I was correct. 
Number 11 is Luke Kuhlman. Kuhlman in trouble right side. That's Deion Miller. Miller going left. Miller going right. Miller going in. And Deion Miller tough two pointer. My goodness, he got it. We're down 36 29. Looking right here, stepping back another three from Ray Allen. He got it, my goodness. Ray's starting to heat up, isn't he, folks? 36-32. Deion Miller. Miller passes that left side. Ooh, no shove call right there. There's number 11. Woman passing around now, number 13, Carter Combs. Combs on the right side. Here they go. That is. Magrily forgetting something, and Leon lost it. And Magrily trying to save it. Here comes a two-pointer on the way, just as the shot clock expires. Baden Fort made it. Here we go with the ball on the left side, passing it underneath the bucket. Here comes a two-pointer. It's no good. Andrew tries to save it. He does. AJ, I beg your pardon. Now Miles left wide alone for three, and he missed. AJ on the miss. AJ is fouled, and AJ will go to the line. 106 seconds to go in the first half. Combs commits the foul. We are in the bonus. AJ has not had it easy at the free throw line this season, shooting 45.8%. Left hand we got set and he his free throw percentage dip a little bit. And an in for us. And AJ makes a second. So we go up a little bit his free throw percentage. Number 12 is Dion Miller. Miller goes past midcourt. Miller to the left side. Under 100 seconds. 22 is Nate Gerber. He's going to pass that. Looking back out to Gerber. Not taking the three. Nate Gerber spinning in. He steps back. He passes the 24. McCain thinking behind. McCain with seven to shoot. Back out to Gerber. Gerber for two. He's fouled. 78 seconds to go in the first half. AJ did the fouling. Nick will be checking in on the next free throw. There he is. He's in for landing. 39-38 out here. Here comes the second shot. Leon will be checking in as well, but not yet because the second shot is no good. All right. Spinning here is Ray. Ray with some nice moves, passing it back. Nice save there by Miles. We have about one minute to go. Now less than one minute. We're gonna pass that Nick Tim, no not Nick Tim. Three by Luke Crystal. Passing it on the left side. They're gonna respond with the three there on the air ball. Ray has it. Ray to the right. Here comes the three on the way. We are tied! Oh, how about Miles Reynolds on that one? They are going to hold him more than likely for the last shot. Defense chats going on. We scored back to back threes. Two seconds in between the shot clock and game clock. There's a lot of noise being made in the Earthsprung Gymnasium. Stopping back, the three is up, and the noise will drown out now. Look to be Finker, Finker mine. What do we do here? Passing to Ray. Ray takes a tough three. Oh, nice effort. Almost got it. The capital holds a slim three-point lead at the half. 
Well, this has been a recurring theme all season long. First half, not too shabby. Second half, very shabby. We'll see if things change tonight. Only two conference wins for us this season. One was to Muskingum at home, the other one to Wilmington at home. Just been an immense struggle out here, folks. Well, the dance team going to do their thing. We got you the halftime stats and the shot clock dies. I tell you, the dance team very good at what they do. Looks like we will get the halftime stats from Noah in just a bit. He's giving it to Coach Jamil. See what happens. At least in the second half. It's only a three point game, but we said that last Wednesday it was only a ten point game to the uh, Mountain and Purple Raiders, and then they just torched us in the second half. When I say torched, I say that in the nicest way. Ninety seconds through the half time break. We're gonna get the second half stats in a minute. As you see, the dance team having a lot of fun so far. My goodness. Noah's gonna give us the stats. Say no. What's the score of the women's game? Uh, I haven't looked. Look it up for you. Thank you. We are shooting 8 for 18 from three-point land, but a miserable 3 for 8 from the free throw line. Therefore, for 7 from three-point land. We have seen 10 points out of Miles Reynolds with three threes. The other man with three threes, Ray Ellington. Ray with nine points. Seven points today for Luke Driscoll. He has a three as well. They don't start till two. Oh, and doesn't start till two. Thank you. So I guess we will know for a while. Tip off out and Baxley doesn't start till two, folks. We've utilized 10 men. We've only been winning for 51 seconds. We did tie it. We did tie it late in the first half. The capital wound up taking the lead. Towards the end with a big three at the end. 20 points off the bench for us. That's almost half the point. 14 off the bench for the Comets. 20 in the paint for the Comets. We've had 12. Three blocks for the good guys. AJ, Landon, and Rob with blocks. The name's Landon, the name's Andrew. That much today because, well, we haven't played for the nine minutes. We've played for less than nine minutes. Miles, Luke, and Leon have played longer than that. They've been on the bench. That's what we're doing a good job out here. Capitals shooting 60% field goal percentage. We're shooting 45.2. We shoot on average 42.4, 428, 428. That's my birthday. Capital on average shooting 48.6. So band doing a lot of fun stuff up there we'll show them for you 
There they are. having fun. Tell you when you're next to the pep band you got a good taste of what they do. You got a good taste of how much fun they have. by three and this is a team that has historically struggled this season in the second half and it could quite easily come back to haunt us once again. Trying to go to 12-0. 
12 and 7 on the season and break even. You know, and they'll be scoring on the near side. They'll be scoring on the far side. Don't know what's going on the rest of the OAC, but I do know that John Carroll is number three in the country. And of course, that was a dandy of a game when we played John Carroll. They underestimated us, but they were very lucky to escape out of Ersprung with a win. Hopefully, we'll see it happen here soon. And by soon, hopefully, against Capital. Oh, we'll look at that, the good guys are ready to go. It's about four minutes to go until it's time for the second half. For the capital, they're four for seven and just their field goal shooting in general. 60 percent, they're 58 for 25 so far. My goodness. Two and a half minutes left, Andrew. We got it, Bob. We got it. Capital doing a good job so far today. We're doing a good job as well, but we're still down. We haven't been winning for much of the game. We've only been winning for 51 seconds of this thing.
right, second half time. Dom Megerly gonna inbound this to number 24. We can Finkenbein. Finkenbein almost got something. Finkenbein goes across midcourt. McCain walking. McCain passes that to 32, bidding four up. For the Mario theme for a little bit. <laughs> Carter comes with it. Carter comes going in. Carter comes says that out of bounds, but it's last poked out on us. 20 seconds through the half. I think there's supposed to be 11 on the shot clock, at least according to the ref. Can't find anybody, now goes on the right side, passing it back to 20, Dom Megerly. Megerly walking, Megerly passes out to 24 and Frank and Dime. And McCain tries this hand out of three, it is no good. Oh man, good effort to save it, he comes right into our table. That was number three, Alex Iyeng. Our ball, 32 seconds through the second half. Number three is Titus. Speaking of three or three, ties it. Ray passing that left side. AJ for two. It's good. It's a one point game. So he scored the first two points of the second half. Thinking Vine looking. Thinking Vine with a nice move. Thinking Vine driving in. He stops. He's going to pass that right side. Driving in right here is Capitals. Number 32, baiting four up. Who misses? Now we can take the lead once again for the first time in a while, folks. Here's Ray Ellington on the corner. Now it's AJ. AJ to Titus. Titus looking. Titus. It's now Landon. Left side. There's 15 on shot clock. Still got point time. I think this through, but AJ's going to pass this to Andrew. He takes a three. Boom! Shot clock off. And we are winning 44 42. How about that? Carter Combs has it. That's number 20, Megerly. Megerly guns that underneath the bucket. We are top. Carter Combs scored it. Going right. Passing down the corner. Here comes the three, Lampatowski. Oh, he missed. Rebound by 22, or 24, rather. Thinking behind, he's gonna pass that, and there's a whistle. There's a charge, if I have a strong one. Looks like number 24, McCain, thinking behind, not happy. Two minutes and one second through this second half. Ray gives it to Titus. There's Andrew. Andrew back out to Titus. Titus going in. Titus for two. How about that left hand around? Carter Combs has it. Comes with the ball. Comes goes past midcourt. He's going to give it towards the right side. Looking right here. In trouble passing that back. Here comes number three outside. Eyeing. Eyeing looking. Eyeing to the right side. That's number 20, Don Megerly. And the pass gets tipped, still with it, passing it back. Here comes a three on the way, that is no good. Tipped, rebounded, two pointer, good. Baden four up. 46 is on the board for both schools. Andrew passes that to AJ. AJ gives it off to Ray. Ray driving in. Ray is going to be fouled. No bucket. Oh, he made it two. Don't know what the score of the women's game is because they don't start until a few minutes from now. Gotta find somebody, AJ is there. AJ going left, there's Titus. Titus on the corner, driving in. There's a tough effort and diving on it. Ten on the shot clock, gotta get that off, passing in the corner. Seven to shoot. Ray Ellington puts one up, he puts one in! Ray Ellington gives us the largest lead of the day. 49-46, Combs with it. Carter Combs driving in, Carter Combs. Hooking Combs passes that left side underneath the bucket. He's gonna be rejected, and then a foul call. No bucket, fortunately. 
But Bane and four up going back to the line. Three minutes and 40, or 38 seconds rather through the second half. Four up a 6'7 freshman. He has height, you can't teach that. He missed the first. Coach Schmidt, he's on the right side. He's talking about something to the team. Second shot coming up. He misses that as well. Andrew grabbed the rebound. Here we go with Titus Baskerville, the fourth. He's going to pass that to AJ out to Landon. Landon going to left. Landon going in. Landon. Tough to no good. Good rebound, AJ. So he can't get to go. That's rough. Four minutes through the second half. Passing it towards the left side. Here's a deep three to tie it, and it will not go. Tipped right to right. Ray on the left side. Ray is going to be tripped up, fouled. See everything right there, 49-46. Finkenbein with his third foul today. And McCain might be adding for the bench. He is, in fact. Miles is back in for us. Miles led us with 10 points in the first half. There's Ray Allington. Ray steps back, Ray passes that. Looking right here, that is Andrew out to Miles. Miles going in, Miles with a high pass out to Andrew. Andrew takes the three, he missed. And Nate, how are you? Ooh, that ball is gonna be out of bounds on the Comets. Four minutes at 33 seconds through the second half. Eighteen on the shot clock. AJ, Joe Miles. Oh, Andrew Griffith for two. It's a five-point game. It's always nice to see that. Whistle, timeout, capital. Four minutes, 45 seconds elapsed in this second half. They would certainly hate to be the third team that loses to the All Jackets this season. It'll be a full timeout. Coach Al has to be happy with how this second half is rolling. 12 points in the second half for us. Four for Capital. We have outscored them by eight. Oh, you gods. That is impressive if I ever say so. Fifty-one forty-six. Comet ball on the far side and to our left, past midcourt. Block expires. Here we go. Uh, we got this party up and running again. Damon Goodwin can't be happy with how Capitals been doing in the second half. His team down five. Number 22 is Nate Gerber. Now 13 in the corner is Carter Combs. Combs passes that. That's Megerly. Dom Megerly over AJ. I didn't think so. John Carroll is Wednesday, don't know who's Saturday. As there's a tough two coming up, foul and the bucket. AJ thought he didn't foul him. Andrews committed three fouls today. 22 is Nate Gerber. Gerber is six foot six senior. Is Andrew gonna check that out? We all love skating here. Leon's only six foot one. I'm surprised he's taking the inside. 
three-point play will not come into fruition. Here we go, right side, passing out in the corner. Miles passes to Titus, Titus on the left side. There's Ray Ellington. Way out, AJ's gonna think three. AJ did not get it. A three ties it for the Comets. On the right side, going in with a high pass. Looks like there's a foul call. Cal Kenny was right to take a shot. Ray commits his second of the day. Big checking in. Ray is such a good player that Coach Tom has so much faith in to the point where he's only benched him for two minutes and 43 seconds as that three ball doesn't go in. Luke just school with it. Luke going left. Luke passes it back. That's Leon. Leon right side. That's Miles. Miles going in. Miles looking high. Pass out to Ray. Ray with 14-12 left. Ray going off, Ray going in, Ray's going to be fouled. He did not get the bucket. 5.52 through the second half. Always going to be some free throws, but I guess not. Shot clock goes back to 20. Right side there, it's Miles passing it to Ray. Ray gonna drive in. Ray back out. Here's Leon Lovsky for three. He missed. That is rebounded by Kyle Kenny. Kenny goes across midcourt. Kenny looking. Kenny spins, passes it right side. Number 22, Nate Gerber. Gerber going in. Gerber is fouled. Gerber going to the long. Six minutes and 16 seconds through the second half. We are uh, do the fouling. Gerber got the first. Next gun check in for us. He's checking in for Ray, who that's a much deserved break. He's been incredible all day. Second shot, also good. Here we go with the ball. It is Miles Reynolds, right side. Nick Timberlake passing that back to Miles. Miles out to Rob. Rob out to Nick. He's going to take a three. Why not? But he missed. Here they go the other way, outside. Lying passes that back, not taking the three there. That's the 14, Justin Nixon, now number 12. That's Deion Miller, walking right here, passing it back. Number 12 is Deion Miller. He's gonna try to give him the lead, he cannot. Tip, two men try to get for us, but fortunately we're still there. Stepping back is Luke Driscoll. Luke passes that to Rob, and now Luke has it. Luke to the right side to Miles, Miles out. Right side, Miles Reynolds gets it back. Miles Reynolds forgot something, he retains it. 10 on the shot clock as he passes it back out. Left side, here we go, not taking the three. Here's Nick Timberlake, four on the shot clock. Leon's gonna take a three and he missed. Good rebound there by the Comets. On the right side, gonna pass that. I ain't passed it to Nick Center, passes it to number zero, Cal County. Coming out to 30, or 22 rather, Nate Gerber. And now on the right side they go. Walking, right side, poked down the good guys. Seven minutes, 45 seconds through the half. Number three, Alex Ink with it. I ain't forgot something. I ain't saves it before a backcourt high. He that the shot clock ties. That ball goes all the way up towards the pep band where Leon will get it. Our ball with 12.04 left in regulation. 
Lyles gets it. Miles Jones pass midcourt. Miles passes it. Here we go. That is Luke back out. Here's a three for Miles. It is no good. A rear miss for Miles. I'll be a jump off for sure. Our ball. Eight minutes, ten seconds through the second half. It is 51-50, as you can tell at the top left corner of your screen. Here's Lucan bounding it. Right on the right side, going in tough to his block. Second chance shot is good. Luke Crystal was there. Three ties it. On the left side, it's number 12, Deion Miller. Miller hands it off to number 13, Carter Combs. Combs in trouble. Combs forgot something important. We're going to take it away. Look to the right side. Here comes Rob. He gets the two. 55 50 with. Under 11 and a half to go in the second half. Thinking Bond going to his right, McCain walking. He's gonna pass out underneath the bucket. Three! Checked in! How about that from way on? Three outs, I ink is in. On the right side, they go. Passing it back. On the right side again, still trying to drive into two pointer is good by outside. 55 52, more than nine minutes through the second half. Luke Driscoll on it. Luke passes that, that is Ray, and now that is Miles out to Leon, rather, and now here's Rob. Rob going in, he has a foul to go to the line. All right. 10.39 to go in the second half. And Rob Watts in the third. He's shooting seven for 19 at the free throw line. Oh, you gods, that's not good. What is good is that Ray Ellington will check in on the next dead ball. And what's also good is that Rob made the first. Andrew and AJ will also be checking in for us. This one, also good by Rob, all right. And now AJ checks in for Rob. So Rob, who's been struggling at the charity stripe all season long, gets both of them to go in. He'll take that every day of the week. I know I'll take that every day of the week when both of them go in. Right side they go, going towards the middle and now on the right side. Okay, driving in the spin move, the two pointer foul bucket. Tom Magrowin. March to the chagrin of Coach Howe and the rest of the game. That really the third foul of the day for Ray. My goodness. Once you get to three fouls, four fouls, you start to get super concerned about whether he's going to foul out or whatnot. Luke on the right side. Luke going left. Luke passes that. Nick doesn't take the three yet. He passes it to Andrew. Passes it to Nick. Nick's now going to take the deep three. He got it! Nick Timberlake. It is 60 to 55. Finkenbein has it. Fink and Bind to the right side. Here they go. Right side again, three coming up. That's good by number 20, Don Megan. 60 58, they responded with a three of their own. Ray Ellington on the left side. Step back, three, Ray Ellington. No. Rebound, it's tipped, still tipped, still being fought for. That is out of bounds on the. Oh man, what's the call here? 
Referees are going to confer with each other. Regardless of what happens, there will be an angry R ball. All right, there we go. The Capital and Damon Goodwin are not happy with that. There are nine minutes and 28 seconds to go here in the second half. The refs are still talking about it to the refs at the very least. Now we're gonna have a bit of a break. This is usually the part where you play Spanish flea from Herb Albert. But this is the Jeopardy theme, not Spanish flea. One of the greatest songs of all time is Spanish. Anyway, 60 to 58. We're gonna talk about it. Will be whose ball? We will see in a second. It will still be our ball. That band has returned in all their glory. <laughs> 9.28 to go. That's Ray Ellington. Ray to his right, Ray to his left. Ray going in, Ray with six nine shot clock. I put up a shot soon, he forgot something. Three, two, foul and the bucket. Ray Ellington. 62 to 58. Fourth foul of the day for him. Nate Gerber checks in with 9.14 left. Looks like Landon will be checking in in a second. I assume for Ray because he's still on the scores table. Ray got it. Ray going to take a much deserved break. Twenty four is McCain thinking behind in a five point contest. Thinking behind gonna bounce that to twenty. Don Megerly, Megerly to the right side. And they go really towards the right. Megerly in the corner looking. Here's Don Megerly with a high pass back. There's trying to shoot the shot. Rejected by AJ. AJ going right, AJ escapes, nice move by AJ, passing that out to Luke. Luke going right, Luke passes that, pump faking there, and Luke going in, Luke for two, he missed. Rebound by the Comets, plus an eight and a half to go here in regulation. Going in, passing that out back, here comes the three, it is good. Look at that start comes. Nope, it was thinking buying, I beg your pardon. Luke passes that to Andrew. He's gonna take a three. Oh, he's fouled! He goes to the line. Oh, if that went in, that would have had everybody going bonkers. Gerber on the foul. We are in the bonus. Andrew is three for five from the free throw line. It's actually five for 20 from three point land, so I apologize for that. Andrew misses his first. Still has two more shots. A two point ball game, second shot coming up and he missed again, my goodness. Titus checking in. Andrew just trying to get out something and he's now three for seven at the free throw line. Now he's four for eight, all right. He redeems himself. About eight minutes to go. 
to number 13, it's Carter Combs. Combs to the left side, a reaching foul. Landon, that tells him everything's gonna be all right because everything is gonna be all right. Landon hasn't played that much today, but he still had himself a pretty good day. If we commit one more foul, Capital will be in the bonus. Here's a pass in the corner for three, and we are top. McKay thinking about it. 64 apiece. And Coach Howe wants to talk things over. Coach Tom has to be a little nervous now that lead of ours is gone. It is 64 apiece on WHBW. to get the action up and running again, ready to inbound. 7.43 left, 27 on the shot clock. Here comes Titus. Titus passes that left side, pump fake right there. Going a tough two from Ray, he missed. Except I think we touched it out last. That's because we did touch it out last. Seven thirty-one off. That's my brother's birthday. Seven thirty-one. How about that? Carter Combs, good screen there. Gonna pass it towards the right. Another screen set up by Justin Nixon. Passing on the right side. Here they go, looking right here. Pump faking underneath the bucket. Passing it back. There's five to shoot. Whistle. And we just put them in the bonus. Seven minutes, five seconds left. Miles will be checking his Nick commits the foul. Nick is going to sit on down. He's had himself a good day. Curry comes trying to break the tie. 64-64. Both schools in the bonus, and the first shot is good. Capital winning again. Capital up by two now. Here we go, passing on the right side, Ray Allington. Ray stepping back. Ray going left. Ray trying to cross up. Good screen here by Andrew, but Ray's going to try to do it himself. We are tied at 66 with 6.44 to go in regulation. Here they go, passing down the off, not taking the three. There was 24 Finkenbein. Finkenbein's had a hot hand as of late. Finkenbein with a pass to the right. In trouble here is 42. Justin Nixon going to hand that one off, going into two point. No good. Second chance shot by Justin Nixon does go in. We're trailing again. Here comes the pass to AJ on the right side. That's Ray Allington. 
Pray out to AJ. AJ's gonna try to do this himself. He's still going in. 12 on shot clock. Hook shot is good. 68 apiece. There are less than six showing for the minutes. Passing Matt, that is number 20, Dom Magoy. Magoy, excuse me. Going going, here's Nixon. Nixon got it. Preston Nixon scores it again. It is 70 68, five and a half to play. This game, a real nail biter. Kind of hard to believe considering the fact that they beat up on us out in Baxby 94 63. On the left side we go, AJ for two. Nice move by AJ Costello. Tying it up at 70. Five minutes to go, behind the back dribble there by Finkenbein, Finkenbein. Running left, five minutes to play. Bouncing and whistle, timeout Comet. 4.59 to go. 70 apiece here on WHBW. If you're just tuning in, you are in for a good one. We'll see what happens out here. We had an overtime game against Iowa Falls. Last night we were on basketball. And fourth basketball was on by six. 42 to 36. Now this game has come down to the last four minutes. 59 seconds. Now for the first time out of the game. Capitals only played 11, never mind, we've also played 11, this is both these schools, 12th conference game, I stand corrected. Gotta find somebody, he finds 22, Nate Gerber. Gerber passes down to the right side in the 70 all game. Good move by 24, thinking by no travel call, contrary to what Coach Tom thought. Gonna step back, three on the shot clock, gotta put one up, here's a Hail Mary it is. Off the rim, no good, falling down. And slow to get up is Andrew, but looks like he'll be all right. Nate Gerber did the fouling right there. And Andrew with an opportunity to give us the lead. Four thirty-seven to go. Tom McGarry in for number three, outside Inc. Andrew trying to give us the lead once again. Seventy, seventy. He does. All right, seventy-one, seventy. Four thirty-seven to play. Andrew trying to make it the 72 70 game. He does just that. Good game so far. We're winning once again. Passing that. That's 13 card comes now on the corner for three. That's no good. Here they go with the rebound. Looking, looking. Passing on the right side to hear defense chance from the dance team. Spinning. Less than 10 to shoot, it's taken away by Andrew. Here comes Andrew Griffith, it's gonna be fouled. It will go back to the line. Four ten to go in regulation. 
That was clearly a foul. Andrew trying to go to the line. I believe it's a shooting foul. Yes, sir, he got it. That'd be quiet for Andrew. He needs a silence. Because they'll make a free throw right there. Andrew with the last four points. All of them coming at the charity strike. 74-70. Defense chance going on on our bank. And in our band. And on our dance team. Passing it back. That's 13, Carter Combs. Combs gives it back. Here comes a three on the way. No go. Look on the rebound. We can really put them in the coffin soon. Oh, what a move. Ray Ellington wide away for three. Boom! Jack Alaska. 70, 70, 70. We're up by seven on them. Capitals starting to get a little nervous out here. I can tell you that. The two-pointer is good, however. 77-72. Obviously, we have to slow it down. Ray Ellington, my goodness. Ellington to his left. 3.13 of the second half. He passes it to Andrew. Back out to Ray. Ray steps back, passes it. Right side. Here we go. Luke Driscoll. Look going in, look pass that back out to Miles. Miles with three minutes to go, passing that. Here we go, looking right here, turn around shot, air ball, two seconds, but Capital got set. Driving up the middle is Finkenbein. He hands it off to 13, Carter comes now on the right side going in. Looking right here, ball's poked out and we're gonna get it. Miles, here we go, out to Ray for two, it's good! Time out! Time out! Ray Ellington has done it again! 2.36 to go! Big school down to three timeouts! 79, 72! Capital won't be easy in women's basketball either. The largest lead of the night has been seven. They're going to let it roll, roll, roll. Picked up. 233 left. High ink going towards the middle. And passing on the right side. Here they go. Near the next. In trouble. The tough two. He missed it. Rebound. Whistle. Jump ball. So if I was jump ball. Second foul of the day for AJ. Here it comes with a one and one opportunity. Actually, it's 32, Baden, four up. Comes is right there, number 13. But four up's going to the line, and four up. That's the first end of the one and one. Six point ball game. 
Two minutes, 19 seconds to go. 79-73, our score is 79-74 now. Oh. Looks like they have number 12 in Dion Miller. Can't find anybody, gotta get it out. Fortunately, no timeout is necessary out here. Might want to watch out for the 10 second call. Ray's off to the races. Ray just gets past, passing the left side. Here we go underneath the bucket. It's taken away by the Comets. And a foul called with 205 left. Look, did the fouling. We need Megaroy to miss. But will he is the question. Particularly in the front end, the one and one, so we can get it back. Good school with nine fouls in this half. He does not miss, unfortunately. Second shot. That's a three point ball game. We're bringing on full court heat. This might be a timeout. Ensued by Coach Childs, the ball is poked down and Capital is there. And I think that might have been a mistake, not taking a timeout. And there's a pass, almost taken away. They got back, there's a foul. Ooh, thank God it didn't go in. 110 seconds left in regulation. Capital is trying their way back in it. They did with three fouls. They are in the bonus plus now. Deion Miller going to the line. He is four for six from the free throw line. First things first, we're gonna have a timeout. 79-76. We take a timeout. Coach Tom can't be happy about things the next family at least. Seventy-six. It's all coming down to these next one hundred ten seconds. We've been in our fair in a fair share of close games, mainly to Trine, Geneva, Geneva, Trine, Penn State, Baron, John Carroll. Who else was a close game? Can't really tell. I don't think we've had anything else as the first shot goes in. Really not that much pressure on us since the first half of the season. Maybe Wilmington is the second size good. They're drilling every free throw out there, folks. Miles. Miles got an inbound. That good catch by Ray Ellington. In trouble high. Pass left side. That's a dumb pass. And now Capital is going to take the lead. Unless we can do something. 80 to 79, they are on an 8 nothing run. Six of the points on the free throws. Good ahead. Titus on the left. Ooh, AJ was left wide alone, but he's going to pass it to Miles instead. Back out to Titus, 15 on the shot clock, about 65 seconds in between shot clock and game clock. Spinning right here, Titus going back. Tice going right, Tice out to Andrew. Andrew rolls up, fires away, and it's no good. AJ had it, and AJ lost it. And Capital got it. I Inc. is there, one minute to go in regulation. Timeout comments. Well, folks, it's been really nerve wracking to say the least. I thought we were going to have this in our favor, of course. We're up 70. 972 and the Capitals get fouled, fouled, fouled. Then they go to the free throws. And what do you know, a bad pass by Miles, I think he's Miles Titus. 
24 is McCain Finken behind. Oh, a bad pass, and that is out of bounds on us. That's not out on us. The clock didn't run. That should at least be our ball. I think it's going to be our ball. All right. Titus in, 29.1 in between the shot clock and game clock. Clock didn't run at all. Tyus inbounding, it's a Ray. Can't really let the clock die that much because once again, there's still some time in between shot clock and game clock. Andrew to his left. Andrew passes that to Ray. Ray steps back. Ray looking. Ray going in, Ray for two, he got it! Ray to with 39.2 seconds left! One timeout left for Coach Cobb. Full timeout. It's been a great game so far. Ray Allen just trying to bail us out and get our first conference winning season. And we won't have a winning season in the conference. What a long time. Die that much either. BW <laughs> men, they gotta win. They have to win. I mean, we're up by one right now. I have no say in this game except announcing it. That's all. And the crowd gets on their feet. Clapping their hands, 9.9 .9 in between the shot clock and game clock. Finkenbein has it. Finkenbein walking to his right. Defense chance going on. Looking right here on the right side underneath the bucket. He's fouled out, have a trip to the line. 27 seconds left, it's number 12, Deion Miller. Miller with an opportunity. Four fouls today for Andrew. He's in deep foul trouble, isn't he, folks? The shot clock will be off. West Capital gets the rebound on the second. Got it, we'll tie at a one. Luca sent on down for Titus. Coach Tom has one timeout left. Everybody going nuts, but he got it. Comics burn a timeout. I think it'd be best to hold it for the last shot out here, folks.
Motorsports stats. 540 driver of the Gold Street. 605 year accident of the school year. Nick Chevrolet just ran in and said, I'm going to check in. Damon Goodwin, one time out off. Tom Howell, one time out off. Super wise out here, ladies and gentlemen. Eighty two, eighty one. No more shot clock. Twenty seven seconds left in regulation. Nick gonna inbound this to Titus. Titus got to touch feeling the heat, passing it to Nick. Nick escapes, gives it back out to Titus. 20 seconds to go. Why not give it to Ray? Ray going in, Ray gonna do it himself. And he missed! Gotta foul him, gotta foul him! 10 seconds, they're gonna heave it out there and get two easy points. Oh no, 6.1 left. And the Comets are more than likely going to walk away here, winners. Oh, that's rough. I may have to attempt it to intentionally foul him. If I am the Apple Comet, by the three times that make them go for go for something. Who's had a great game today? Couldn't get that in. That was not an easy shot to say the least. Damon Goodwin breaks off the Comets. 84 81 here on WHBW. Comets hold the lead. Yeah, full court heat. Probably try to force us to an uncomfortable shot. Uh, timeouts. Titus has it. Off to the races. Titus passes that and it's out of bounds on us. The game's going to... Oh, no. There's a three on the way and now it's on. Comets win it. 84-81. And the rough going continues for the oldest and greatest university in America. They will get out of here with an 84-81 win. Well, folks, I think that's all the time we have left. Till next time, I'm Tommy Moon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you around. So long. Have a great day.